Hello and welcome back to High Wheel Woodworks. I'm Tim Eggers. Today we're going to talk about hand planes. Start out with a story. Had a student reach out to me that wanted to learn how to use a hand plane, how to tune one up. Had her come over. We took a crusty old Stanley number 75 and completely stripped it down, took all the pieces and parts off and cleaned them all up, shined them all up, flattened the sole, taught her how to sharpen the iron on it, and more importantly, how to use it to get those long, wispy, nice curls that we like that you get from a hand plane that's properly tuned up. A couple of days later, her husband reached out to me and indicated that he wanted to purchase for her some hand planes for her shop. So he asked what I would recommend. So I went through it all and I recommended a low angle block plane for doing those fine edges and little chamfer work, little small cleanups on stuff. Recommended a number four for doing your final smoothing. A number five for kind of starting the process and getting rid of the bulk of the material. And then I recommended a number seven for long joinery work. He ended up buying them all for her. So I had recommended four hand planes. That's what they bought and added to their shop. Later that day, I got to looking around my shop, and as you can tell, I'm kind of a fan of hand tools and hand planes, and I got to thinking about it. I had just recommended that someone needed four planes for their shop. So I got to counting. Why do I have 75? Got to be the question. I've got 75 hand planes in my shop after I recommend it. Somebody only needs four. So the moral of the story turned out to be getting into hand tool woodworking can be addicting. Getting into collecting and restoring and using hand tools can also be very addicting. So if you get into hand tools and hand tool woodworking, don't be surprised if it becomes a bit of an addiction for you. But the rewards for that are tremendous. It's an exceedingly rewarding experience to make things with your own hands with good solid hand tools. So with that, if you've got comments on that, I'd love to hear them. And if you could subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you much.